Prevention partners out with its 2016 North Carolina Regional Prevention Report Card. Can you tell us what is this report card? This year, Prevention Partners released the Regional Report Card with a variety of new partners who are interested in looking at the connection between health and the communities in which we live. So we looked at a variety of factors and we organized the data by North Carolina's eight prosperity zones or economic development regions. And what's really remarkable if you look at this data is that health really varies across our state from mountains to coast. And there are some underlying issues in those communities that really are big factors in creating health or in impeding health. And so we took a look at what makes a difference in health so that people can think about all the things that they can do to help us all be healthier. So it's a fascinating look at some new data, and it's a new look within regions across our state. What is it that leads to the disparity on health, especially depending on where we live or what region of North Carolina we're in? If you click on our website, you'll see a very detailed view, which is a fun thing to do, is go look at the data. But we took a look at broader socioeconomic issues like high school graduation rate, unemployment rate. We also looked at more environmental issues, like did people report having access to exercise opportunities or did they have access to affordable and healthy foods? And then we took a look at what are the health issues, how many people are smoking, how much obesity is out there, how do those relate to chronic diseases like diabetes. And then we looked at kind of what are the longer-term outcomes, like what are the ultimate health outcomes. So how many days do people go to hospitals that were really preventable hospital stays that could have been avoided? And also, what is life expectancy? How long do we live is a really good indicator in the long run of how healthy our state is. And so all of those different layers feed into health. But what was really surprising, I think, to everybody, even health experts, was that something as simple as being able to have access to physical activity opportunities and having access to healthy, affordable foods were the two most changeable factors on that whole list I just shared. And they had the strongest predictor of having longest life expectancy and the fewest preventable hospital stays. So isn't some of those really broad issues that are hard to change? Some of those definitely do have an impact on our health. But what the data really shows me, and it's very exciting, is that we can do something by building healthy places in our homes and in our work sites and in our schools and in our communities, just giving people more options to be active and eat better and to be in tobacco-free environments because that cultural shift really is where those everyday behaviors is where our health really is rooted. And you can do some simple things structurally in the places where you live to really make those choices better. So there's some big disparities, which are unfortunate. But the good news is that there's some very simple and clear things that people can do to build healthy places. And we really invite organizational leaders particularly to think about building healthy workplaces and healthy schools where most of us spend most of our days gives us uh, options to have better health behaviors because that's really where our health outcomes are rooted.